Hey everybody, Chris Schaefer with Potsky Outdoors here with Josh Cronzy, Potsky Pro Staffer. We're coming to you from Ontario, Canada today for the first time we're fishing Lake Huron Tributary Steelhead. Tell us a little bit about the steelhead that we have up here. Uh, we're fishing primarily on this watershed for uh, wild winter steelhead. Yeah. You'll see some mix of uh, some clipped hatchery fish. It's mid-December, the air's cool, the water's cool. That means it's steelhead time. That's steelhead time So we Ontario. finally picked the right time of year to come up here. I hope so. We'll find out, won't we? <laughs> what are we going to be using today? We're using spawn sacks, lures. What do we got coming? Uh, we're going to be drifting some uh, Ontario-style steelhead here. So we're going to probably fish center pin float reels, right. long 13-foot rods. Can't handle the center pins. We're going to put a spinning reel on. You we'll know get it where all my done hand's going to be with a spinning rod. We're going to fish some Braxo Fire steelhead eggs and uh, small hooks, small floats, light line. And we're going to have some fun. Wonderful, let's get out there and uh, see how we do. Let's do it. That is one of the biggest beavers I have ever seen. <laughs> uh, before we came out today, we, we had a feeling we weren't gonna catch a lot of fish. Uh, not because we don't know what we're doing, but because the conditions are really stacked up against us. We have a falling barometer, we have low and clear water, and we've also had very cold nights. Um, so the fish are kind of sluggish as it is. We're gonna show you how to downsize your baits, use real small spawn sacks and bags, uh, and still be successful even when conditions are real tough. This guy's a damn professional. What's that, third drift? First steelhead yeah, of his career. Steelhead. Doing good, Nate. He didn't, he didn't need a center pin. <laughs> he didn't need it. I think David was worried they weren't gonna swim because the water was so cold. It's cold. I mean, it's cold. What's the water temperature, do we know? It'll be about three degrees above freezing. Does this freeze over ever? This river specifically, no. It's got a really dark bottom and it's spring fed really slow. So the sun gets a chance to warm the water and we don't see too much ice cover here the entire day. Woo, that's a nice fish. Oh, oh man, get in there. Oh. Woo! Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, bud. Yeah. No way. First fish of the day looks like that. Chromer, too. Yep. Oh, That's all pot skied up, my friend. That's all pot skied up. Little, little Brexo fire, winter steelhead eggs. Yeah. Oh, that is a gorgeous fish, my friend. You don't get any better than that. That's wild. Lake Huron, winter steelhead. Beauty. First steelhead. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Beauty. How your arms feel? A little tired. Good rod, though. <laughs> yeah? Good you, re rod. you ready for good, another good one? Fight. Yeah. Everywhere you steelhead fish across North America, everyone does something a little different. Us Great Lakes guys, we love our bags, our spawn sacks, whatever you want to call them. These are Braxo Fire Winter Steelhead Eggs. They're tied in Red Wing. Not a, uh, a bag material, this is actually the scarf material. You can buy whole scarfs. It's very thin material. Uh, when they get wet, they look a little different than this. And the reason I like to fish scarf is because it is a much smaller pattern in the mesh. And it catches on the fish's teeth much better. They have trouble rejecting the bait if they want to spit it out. We're rigging these on number size 10 and number size 12. Kamazan sedge hooks. They're very small. Doesn't have to be anything too fancy. Slide it in. That's attached to roughly 20 inches of six pound Maxima fluorocarbon. To a micro swivel. We have some micro blackbird shot there. And in total I have roughly Eight feet of leader line, shot line up to my float, and that is a uh, the Drennan float, clear plastic float. Stop the two bobber stops, shot it correctly. There's probably roughly five and a half grams worth of shot. Keeps the whole presentation running good. And I'm running it with a, a float reel and a 13 foot rod. It's lethal. So what's happening here today is we have lake effect snow all around us right now. Uh, luckily, we're in a little pocket where it's not hitting here, but what that's done is it's brought the temperature down and we're having to fish a little bit slower. We're looking for a little bit slower water. So Josh is going to show you some of the pockets we're going to fish and some of the slow moving runs where we're hoping to find uh, some fresh steelhead coming in from Lake Huron. So we came in a little further down. We started up in some fast water. Water's brutally cold. The air temperature is brutally cold. We're freezing up on almost every drift. So we've come back into a little bit of slower water. Hopefully the fish are lined up in here trying to stay warm. We're gonna feed them a little Potsky Brexo fire. We're gonna see what happens. That's your cue there, fish. <laughs> so 
nice deep trough all along this bank. Yes. Oh, Dave Cowan. Right there, buddy. Yeah, he's a good fish. Just Every... sitting in the backside, like in the, in, the, in the calmer water. We moved down a little bit, got out of the faster water, looking for some fish that are trying to stay warm. They gotta expend too much energy in the fast water. We let Dave break the ice with the first one this morning. We're, we're gonna see how good this man's net job is. <laughs> the drift moat net, went, it disappeared. So now we're, we're using Old Faithful. You having fun, Dave? Yeah, man, this is a blast. Yeah. Thanks, thanks little, Josh. Little winter steelhead fishing? Great little fishing hole. How come that net's like that? That's how cold it is. That's how cold it is. Look at that. <laughs> Another, is that another cromer? You know, the key when it's when it's this cold and this clear, you just gotta fish slow and put your time in, right? Light lines, small hooks, small presentations. Little bore axle fire. Little bore axle fire Little never hurt anybody. It's always fun with these 13 foot rods. 13 foot rods, <laughs> six pound leaders, size 12 hooks. Our American steelhead friends think we're crazy. Yeah. Crazy's okay for putting yeah. fish in the boat. Oh, she's a pig. It's a lot of energy for as cold as it is, huh? They haven't had the chance to take long rips and long jumps so they can serve a little bit of energy fighting slow. I don't mean to put this much pressure on you to net him. It's oh. going to be a big task. Don't worry about it, brother. You just get her in the hole. Oh! Still not ready, huh? No, not yet. We're gonna get one shot at it here. Oh! Smoke into the net. Oh! Mr. Schaefer, how do you like Lake Huron? Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, worth the trip? Beautiful. Worth the trip? Hey Dave, I'm sending her back. It's gotta be fun putting your hand in the water. Whew, that is chilly. Yeah. Good net job, my yeah, friend. Yeah, baby. Number two of the day. Gonna throw another Braxo Fire yeah. bag on there. Another one? Mr. Schaefer, Mr. Cowan, we're into another. For Axel Fire Eating here on Steel. It's a feeding frenzy. Yes, sir. Everything's so cold. When the rod bends, you can hear clink, clink, clink. The ice coming off the blank. Oh, yeah. It's a good one. For <laughs> Well, that's not good. There's water on the lens. See if I can get that off there. Yep. Okay, before it freezes. Yeah. There we go. Oh, 